Hello, this is Kane Creek, or Tyrone Power, or call me whatever you want to call me. Today I'm going to do a tutorial, just a small tutorial, in uh, propeller head reason. Why propeller reason? Well, I like it. Everyone likes it. Why not? It's a beautiful program. Um, today I'm going to do uh, percussion rolls. But we all know how to do percussion rolls, you're all screaming. Yep. Well, this is a little novel way of doing them. You've probably seen it before anyway, but... I'm sure there's always someone out there who hasn't seen it. So first of all we'll create a mixer. In that mixer we'll put a NN19. NN19, the NN comes from Paul Ardcastle's N -n 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 19 That's what the sampler was named after. But I'm sure you all know that anyway. First of all I'll initiate the patch in the NN19. There you go, that's emptied the sampler out. And I'm going to put my own kick drum in. So I'll just browse through for a kick drum. And there's the old quasi midi kick drum that I recorded earlier. On my old uh, quasi midi 309. Okay, we're happy with that. Now, for this tutorial, the best example I could use is a Malstrom. Kick drum in there, that's working okay, right. So we'll create a Malstrom. Now when you create this Malstrom, make sure you hold down the shift so then it doesn't cable itself into anything or root itself. There you go, there's a Malstrom in. And as I flick around, as you can see, it's not cabled into anything because I held down shift. Swing that back around again. Right, initiate the patch in the Malstrom so we can empty any settings out of it right now for this example what I'm actually going to do is with this modulation B area here I'm going to tr or should I say modulation A area I'm going to trigger the kick drum in the NN19 so if I flick the rack around again there's your modulation A area here modulation A out and I'm going to go from modulation A out into gate in in the NN19 and as soon as you leave go you should hear you start a trigger already there you go so swing it round now if you put this into one shot it'll stop triggering now I'm going to set this to a square wave now the reason I put it for a square wave, as we all know, your MIDI messages on almost anything are usually 0 to 127. If you set it to a square wave, it usually a square wave, usually on the curve it'll put above 63 and below the curve 63, so you get it like a nice in-between setting. So we've got it set now. If I switch the one shot off, as you can hear, it's just gently triggering away. Now if you get the rate button and turn it, as you can see, they are just like great IDM style drum rolls. Pull it right down the bottom and it stops. So you can imagine there you could um, trigger this off with automation and get some great effects. Well, that sounds nice anyway. And while we're at it, I suppose we could try vocal samples. We'll try this one. This is like it. This was like a radio sample. The sample of a radio recording I took where I work. So if we try to trigger that one, what we'll have to do here is just change the sample start area in here. And turn this. And as you can see, you can get some interesting effects. Right, switch that off for a second. Now, as you can imagine, you could put this all this inside a combinator. 
and just have it as a uh, one patch for easy uploading I mean um, firing up um, but as you can see all this like rate one shot sample start area you could um, automate them all within reason and you could get some great effects but as you can see that's um, that's how I would do any type of rolls or just special effects within uh, vocal sample right thanks for uh, watching this tutorial and I'm sure we'll be back sometime with some more reason tutorials as well as logic ones so goodbye and take care